Bipolar disorder is an affective disorder with a highly variable course. Patients with bipolar disorder have an increased risk of developing dementia. Additionally, a small subset of patients appear to develop bipolar disorder later in life, after the age of 40. This group is known as late onset bipolar disorder. And it is debated whether this phenotype in particular corresponds to the bipolar disorder spectrum or if it represents a pre dementia state. Transtemporal dementia is a neurodegenerative disorder with an average onset between age 50 and 65 years. The most common subtype of transtemporal dementia, the behavioral variant, features different behavioral disturbances from apathy to disinhibition. Bipolar disorder and frontotemporal dementia diseases overlap in some clinical symptoms like executive function and disinhibition, and both may feature similar affected regions, including the anterior cingulate cortex and frontoinsular regions in, in structural and functional imaging. A subset of bipolar disorder patients appear to develop frontotemporal dementia. Some authors hypothesize the existence of neuroprogression factors, which refers to the pathological reorganization of the central nervous system after a maladaptive response of our body to external or internal stressors. So specific characterization of these patients that appear to have a neuroprogressive course of bipolar disorder is important to enable this, uh, the identification of mechanisms and modifiable risks. And protective factors. Specific questions guiding our research were what are the common clinical features in patients with bipolar disorder who develop frontal dementia and the classic onset versus late onset predict different courses. So we conducted a systematic review using the search terms listed here. In addition we include five previously reported patients with bipolar disorder who progressed to frontal dementia from our clinic. 53 patients were included in the total sample. Of the patients for which data were available, 81% had a previous diagnosis of bipolar disorder type 1 and 77% had multiple affective episodes. From the 53 subjects, 31 had classic onset bipolar disorder and 22 had late onset bipolar disorder. The average age at time of frontotemporal dementia diagnosis in both groups was similar and consistent with typical age of onset of FTD in patients without bipolar disorder. These pie charts represent significant differences in the course and speed of progression of BBFTD and follow-up. Patients with late onset bipolar disorder tends to progress more rapidly than patients with the classic onset. On the other hand, Patients with the classic onset appear to have a slower or more subtle progression than typically seen in BBFTD without bipolar disorder. This subtle or very slow progression has been described in reports of patients with bipolar disorder evolving to a frontal-like dementia. As we can see in the figure of the right side, in our series most patients with the classic bipolar disorder onset appear to progress to a bipolar disorder frontal-like dementia. In contrast, most patients from the late onset group progress to a phenotype consistent with a full BBFTD diagnosis and expected rate of progression. As we saw on the pie charts, nearly 40% of the patients with um, classic onset bipolar disorder had a progressive course more consistent with a typical behavioral variant frontotemporal dementia pattern. Finally, Around 20% of patients with late onset bipolar disorder did not show progression and therefore may be considered FTD phenocopy. This term refers to patients who meet the clinical criteria for BBFTD without the classical progression in at least three years of follow-up. Our findings offer some first insights into progression from bipolar disorder to frontotemporal dementia and highlight variables for developing prospective studies to further characterize the different phenotypes and possible modifiable risk factors to reduce progression to dementia in patients with bipolar disorder.